Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that many of you may have. Can smartwatches be hacked? And if so, how can you protect yourself and your data from cyber attacks? Let's find out. Smartwatches are amazing devices that can do many things, such as tracking your fitness, making calls, sending messages, and even paying for things. But they also store and transmit a lot of personal information, such as your contacts, passwords, location, and health data. This makes them attractive targets for hackers who want to steal your identity, money, or secrets. So, how easy is it to hack a smartwatch? Well, it depends on several factors, such as the type and model of your smartwatch, the security features it has, the apps you use, and the network you connect to. Some smartwatches may have more vulnerabilities than others, and some hackers may have more skills and tools than others. But in general, smartwatches can be hacked in two main ways, remotely or physically. Remote hacking means that a hacker can access your smartwatch without touching it by exploiting its wireless connections, such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or cellular. For example, a hacker could use a phishing attack to trick you into opening a malicious link or attachment on your smartwatch and then install malware on it. Or, a hacker could intercept the data that your smartwatch sends and receives from your smartphone and then spy on your activities or modify your messages. Or, a hacker could connect to your smartwatch through an unsecured Wi-Fi network and then access your files or settings. Physical hacking means that a hacker can access your smartwatch by having physical contact with it, such as stealing it, borrowing it, or tampering with it. For example, a hacker could use a USB cable to connect your smartwatch to a computer and then extract or erase your data. Or, a hacker could open your smartwatch and install a chip or a device that can monitor or control your smartwatch. Or, a hacker could use a special tool to crack your smartwatch's password or PIN and then unlock it. As you can see, hacking a smartwatch is not impossible, but it is also not very easy. Hackers need to have a lot of motivation, resources, and opportunities to target your smartwatch. And most of the time, they are more interested in hacking bigger and more valuable targets, such as your smartphone, your computer, or your online accounts. However, this does not mean that you should ignore the risks and be careless with your smartwatch. There are some simple steps that you can take to protect yourself and your data from hackers. Here are some tips. Use a strong password or PIN to lock your smartwatch and change it regularly. This will prevent unauthorized access to your smartwatch if you lose it or leave it unattended. Enable encryption on your smartwatch if it has this option. This will make your data unreadable to anyone who tries to access it without your permission. Update your smartwatch's software and apps regularly and only download apps from trusted sources. This will fix any security bugs or flaws that hackers could exploit. Turn off your smartwatch's wireless connections when you don't need them and only connect to secure and trusted networks. This will reduce the chances of hackers intercepting or interfering with your data. Be careful with what you click or open on your smartwatch and don't give unnecessary permissions to apps or websites. This will avoid falling for phishing or malware attacks that could compromise your smartwatch. Back up your smartwatch's data to your smartphone or computer and delete any sensitive or unnecessary data from your smartwatch. This will prevent data loss or leakage if your smartwatch is hacked or damaged. By following these tips, you can make your smartwatch more secure and less vulnerable to hacking. Remember, smartwatches are not just gadgets. They are extensions of yourself. So treat them with respect and care and they will serve you well. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.